All right, guys, thanks for tuning in to this car tech video. Um, I'm going to show you in this video in a couple of minutes what I really believe to be the best mileage correction tool in the world right now. It plugs in via the diagnostic port, so we've got one end of this cable plugged into the tool, the other end is plugged into the diagnostic port, which is right underneath the steering wheel there. Um, it's, uh, it works on a huge, huge, huge range of vehicles, and honestly, I'm not selling this tool personally, but if you did want to buy it, I'm going to put the link to where you can buy it in the description below this video. I really just wanted to make a, a video on this because I've tried personally so many over the years, so many diagnostic tools that claim to do mileage resets and um, sort of OBD2 cables where you have to take the dash out, you have to install complex software onto laptops and PCs and whatnot um, and they just make the whole process really 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 difficult. Even the previous generation dedicated mileage correction tools, they've always involved sort of bringing the dashboard out, uh, soldering in new uh, chips and whatnot that is a thing of the past with this tool. Instead of me rambling on, I'm going to show you. Because this car currently has 105,657 miles on the clock. I hope you can see that right there. Okay, so with this tool, I'm going to go ahead and change that and show you how simple it is. So we're going to click down to Dashboard, click on to OK, click on to Europe or whatever, you know, whatever location your vehicle is from or the manufacturer should we say so this is a Porsche so it's a European vehicle so we're going to click on to European and it just takes maybe a minute or so for the database to load and then it's going to give us um, a, a list of all of the manufacturers that it will cover within the European region. One thing I have noticed with this tool is that the Vauxhall and the Ford um, they obviously cover European because there's a European Ford and an American Ford but the Ford and the uh, the Vauxhall or Opel are, are in the American section for some reason so uh, just to bear that in mind if you are looking to maybe uh, buy this tool for those vehicles but as I say just while I'm waiting for this to load this tool is going to knock everything else out of the water and I'll tell you because it's a lot cheaper than all of the mainstream or a lot of the other high-end mileage correction tools so uh, I've got a list of all the manufacturers here and we're going to scroll down to Porsche and we're just going to select Cayenne which is what we're in 2010 onwards um, so first of all it gives it tells you to click back up and mileage so I'm going to click OK to that you can change from kilometers to miles as well I'm going to click miles because that's what we're in right now and it's asking us to uh, do a backup folder here so we're going to click OK you can see I've done a, pre a few previously so I'm going to name this 05 communicating reading data please be patient so it's just reading the data from the vehicle And depending on the vehicle, this can sometimes take two or three seconds, sometimes it can take a minute. So it's just reading the vehicle data so it can save a file. It's a backup file, in case we make a mistake, we can revert back to that backup file, you see. So the file is gonna be named 05, right? So what we've got here is uh, 10568. Well, it, it, this is the backup file, so this says 105685, so that's where, what it would revert to if indeed uh, we did need to go for it uh, to, for the backup. So I'm just going to click OK to that. And now it's asking me, please input the mileage of the adjustment. So this is where we can put our mileage in. So I'm going to say that I want the mileage of this tool, uh, this car, to be 70, 76,000... 76,700. Now it won't get it exact, it will get it within generally about 30 miles, but you can play around with the numbers, you can keep going back and forwards till, till you get it to exactly where you want it to be. So we click OK to that. One final confirmation, 76,700. I'm going to click OK, I'm going to click communicating. This should all drop off and then it's come back on and it says adjustment complete on screen and it's giving us 76,000 
76,672, I'll just come away from that a bit. There we go, so it's got us within 28 miles there of, where, of what we requested, which is pretty good, but as I say, you could go back into this and you could try it again and just play around with the numbers till you get it exactly where you want it to be. Uh, but generally in most cases, you know, within 20 to 30 miles is gonna be generally acceptable. And there we go, and um, that's adjustment complete. And um, yeah, it's, it, that's as easy as it is. Uh, recovery, you can go back and recover your file. So if we wanted to put it back to the original mileage, we click on our saved file. Writing data, recovery successful. And it's gone now 105.657. So that is the exact mileage as it was. Uh, recovery successful. Don't worry about these because these are faults on this car which we know about. Uh, just waiting for an ABS sensor to come for this car. But that's this tool in a nutshell, as I say. It's, I think it personally, I think I've never seen a tool with in such compact size for such a good price on the market with which does the mileage correction with such such ease uh, i've tried it on other cars like kias vw's audis um, mercedes uh, other porsches as well i've done it on a 911 and a boxster i'm telling you now this is the best and the easiest mileage correction tool on the market in the world right now it's a pretty bold statement but I fully fully believe it and no I'm not selling it personally I don't have stocks of these in my garage or in my workshop or anything like that uh, however I do know where you can buy it and I'm gonna put the link to where you can buy it in the description below this video and also I'll put the link in the comments box below as well just to make it easier for you so thanks for watching and I hope this has helped you if you are looking for mileage correction tools